Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Yoga with Miss Carrie. We are here at my house, and that's my sleeping dog, Zephyr. And today, we are going to do a breathing exercise that helps us when we feel scared. Can you make a scared face? What does your face look like when you feel scared? Sometimes my face might look like this. Or surprised and scared. Sometimes somebody can go boom and shock you. Or sometimes you might hide your eyes or maybe get really small. We all look different when we're scared. And when we pay attention to how other people look, we can help them too with how they're feeling. But for today, our breathing exercise is going to help us. This is our breathing ball. And we are going to imagine that this breathing ball is like a puffer fish, a blowfish. Have you ever seen one of these before? These fish, when they're swimming along, when they get scared, they blow up. They get bigger so that the shark or the stingray or whatever wants to eat them can't eat them because they're so big. They puffed up with air. So imagine this little puffer fish is swimming along and then all of a sudden it sees a shark. And what happens? It gets scared and he blows up and he holds his breath like that. Can you hold your breath like this? <sighs> Let it out. So this puffer fish <gasps> got scared, holding its breath. But then <sighs> the shark swam away. <sighs> swimming along in the ocean, you never know what you're gonna find. So the puffer fish is swimming and swimming along, going to see his friends. And then all of a sudden, another shark, and he blows up and he holds his breath, but he's really scared. <sighs> and the shark swims away. So now let's breathe with the puffer fish in a way that will help them to be not so scared. Pretend you're holding a puffer fish too, right in front of, your body, just like I'm holding this ball, pretend, imagine that you have one of these right in your hands. Take a deep breath in. That's what happens when we get scared. But now, let your breath go. Breathing in and out. Not holding your breath now. Breathe in. Breathe out. You can even do this and close your eyes like this. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let's try one more time. Breathe in. Breathe out. And put your breathing ball down. Relax your shoulders. Ah, that feels so much better to breathe in and out like that when we feel scared instead of holding our breath in. Sometimes we do that when we're scared, don't we? So remember, no matter how you're feeling, you can take big, deep breaths in and out, and it'll help your body, your heart, and your mind feel so much better. Thanks for joining me today, my friends. I'll see you again next time. Namaste.